Google Calendar introduces enhanced working location feature for improved productivity. Google Calendar has been continuously evolving to meet the needs of its users, and today, it is introducing a new enhancement to the working location feature. Since 2021, users have been able to indicate their working location directly in Google Calendar, providing better context for collaboration and planning. Now, Google is taking it a step further by allowing users to set working locations for specific portions of the day, enabling them to accurately reflect their availability based on their physical location throughout the day. This update comes as hybrid work environments become increasingly common, with employees working from home, offices, specific buildings, or a combination of these locations. By allowing users to specify their working location for different times of the day, Google Calendar enables them to effectively manage their schedules and optimize their productivity. Moreover, for those with delegate access to someone's Google Calendar, the new update allows full editing of working locations for the entire day or specific portions of the day. This feature proves particularly beneficial for individuals such as executive assistants who manage multiple calendars. Administrators have the flexibility to enable or disable the working location feature at the domain or organizational unit level, providing control over its implementation. End users will find that the feature is enabled by default, allowing them to seamlessly set sub-day working locations within their calendars. To do so, they simply need to select Working Location is an event type in Calendar, choose the desired location, and optionally modify the time, date, or recurrence. The rollout of this enhanced working location feature is already underway, with rapid release domains gaining immediate access and scheduled release domains receiving the update starting on July 14, 2023. It is available to users of Google Workspace Business Standard, Business Plus, Enterprise Standard, Enterprise Plus, Education Fundamentals, Education Standard, Education Plus, the Teaching and Learning Upgrade, and Nonprofits.